Hello friends and welcome to uh, this uh, opportunity where I might be able to share with you each week. I'm here inside uh, St. Patrick's Cathedral um, and in the background you might just be able to pick out a little one of the great pieces of art that uh, forms part of the patrimony of the, of the Archdiocese. Archbishop Gould, the very first bishop of, uh, of our Archdiocese, uh, was a great patron of the arts and religious art in particular. And this piece that you can see in the background, which is of Jesus in the temple, teaching and conversing with the, with the teachers of the law. Um, and you can see the presence of Mary and Joseph also in the, in the image, but uh, Jesus himself as a young boy uh, present and already showing that he is the one who can teach us the way to the Father. I'm particularly mindful this week that uh, something of a further lockdown and I'm just mindful of that further step of, of concern and challenge uh, that this will bring to all of us. But remembering this is particularly about trying to bring uh, a, a, an accommodation to this reality of, of COVID that we're living in so that as least of people as possible are susceptible to receiving it, as least as people possibly particularly that they don't, do not die from this um, contagion. So I certainly would want to encourage us all to do what we can uh, to uh, live through this time prudently and uh, uh, in ways that are sensitive uh, to the care and the need of each other. In our Catholic social teaching, we, we have the, the, the notion of a common good, that we all share in the common good. That does not mean just uh, what is good for the majority. No, common good is what is good for all and at the same time, what is good for each individual. So holding both the good of all people and the good of each individual together. We should be able to, in our own prudent actions in this time ahead, uh, be people who uh, support the common good, to care for our families, particularly our elderly. As you know, it's just a terrible situation with uh, some of our aged care facilities and the circumstances there. So I just want to encourage you once again to assure you of my prayer and support and that the Archdiocese in, in its various communities, in its agencies and works, are doing what it can to make sure that um, we all look after the common good of all and each individually. My prayers go with you, friends, and until next week.